all right good morning guys we've been here before i did this stump and then a couple months later did that stump now we're back to do the pecan stump well, we got issues a little dog i can't get a hold of the people you know so i gotta go in here and now i gotta be on uh, detailed watch duty for a dog and that's a cute little dog you hate to hurt him you know hopefully he's smart enough to stay away from a, a stump grinder that throws chips everywhere do this pecan right here and when i'm grinding a stump I, the way i set up is i try to get the most out of the uh the machine or the sweep i can at one time so like this right here would be perfect come in right here start everything's level sort of say and uh just eat straight into it so if you're a new guy you know just uh look for that uh I wouldn't come over here and see how this jots out over here on the side and this, but this side right here, yeah, it looks good. Nice and flat. You can just start to eat into it, no problem. Plus, yesterday I hit a rock and I didn't have time to change the tea. So, you know, it's probably gonna throw some uh, real long string chips as far as, you know, what I think it'll do. But anyway, I'll get through this real quick and be done with it and then i'll do it when i get back So the other day a guy asked me how deep do i normally go and how do i know this deep enough to uh to grind the stump he asked in the comments well what i usually gauge it by is this right here so the distance between here to right here you know that i mean that's plenty enough to grow grass you know if you're grinding a stump 
just me take a measurement on your uh, machine you know how far it is or like on this side the cover you know what i mean you can you can tell after you do it long enough just uh take a measurement on on your machine and uh like well that's deep enough right there and like i've said this will be the third time i've been back here but they didn't want that one to be ground you know i guess they're gonna put keep flowers around it and stuff like that but the, the other two so this will be the third time i'm i'm at this house you know some people you know when you when you're doing stumps and tree work and stuff like that there's people that save up all year long for one job you know they might save their social security check or whatever they get it the first of the you know uh the month or like right now it's march well <coughs> excuse me uh people's getting their um, income taxes back and so they're going you're going to have a flood of people there's two things that work for you this time of year and that'll be people get your income tax back the second thing is the weather the weather in the state i live in it changes like the end of this week will be 75 degrees and uh it'll be like that for you know at least three or four uh three or four weeks at least and um so people will call like crazy they'll be out in the yard wanting to do stuff yard work and all that so that's what you you know if you're starting out and you don't know no better or you're a new guy just be aware of that that's just it, it, every in this business it runs in a pattern you know you'll start off march april wide open and then all of a sudden july hit and it'll be a low it'll start dipping because people will take vacations and uh they'll take off on spring um you know summer break and then they'll come back and the same thing in fall the weather will change it'll be 70 to 75 to 80 degrees in my area and the work will pick up and then all of a sudden when we, uh colder weather hits it dies off i've been doing it for 15 16 years and that's the way it always happens so if you're starting out and you you wonder man all of a sudden my calls dropped in the middle of the summer you know just think man they're going on vacation people's doing stuff and uh that's just part of it uh it, it ain't really you you know uh and i had another one the other day a, a guy asked me about uh how do i advertise do i advertise all my business on facebook no i advertise i got a website and i got a google listing and when i say google listing i'm not paying for adsense or ad you know to get an ad on there i'm just you know paying my uh they do a, you can do a website for free and it costs you like twelve dollars i pay twelve dollars and uh you know you just put in the keywords that you want and the other thing is word of mouth and contacts who you meet tree people concrete people uh the whole shebang so uh you know passing out cars all the time it, it you're constantly working and 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 making contacts with people so but uh i'm fixing to turn this around push this up and uh call quits on this one guys if you like the video hit the like button and the subscribe button and i'll see you on the next one